Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adjusting saturation and lightness in Illustrator. Now these aren't typically corrections that you would associate with Illustrator, but some of them are possible and I'm going to show you how. There is a gotcha here though. The corrections that we're going to be looking at are only applicable to Illustrator vector drawings and can't be used with bitmap images. For example, there's a recolor artwork dialog that would be accessible to us if we had vector art selected. It's not accessible to us because this is a bitmap image. Also, anything on the Edit, Edit Colors menu is basically grayed out here. So this bitmap image can't be adjusted using the tools we're going to be using, but this art here can. So I'm going to target this artboard and press Control or Command-0 just to zoom in. So with everything on this artboard selected, I do have some color options. Some of them are available from the edit menu, so I could choose edit, edit colors, and I could adjust saturation, for example, and this would allow me to adjust the saturation for all of the colors in the image or all of the colors in the areas that I currently have selected, which for me are the entire image. So I can just dial down the saturation here, so I would end up basically with just a line image. I'm gonna cancel out of there. It's also possible to invert color. So if black and white were your image, you could invert it. But you can also invert color images with edit, edit colors, and we'll go to invert colors. And so each of these colors has been converted to its opposite. I'm going to undo that with Control or Command Z. There are two other options that are worth looking at on the Edit, Edit Colors menu. The first one is Convert to Grayscale. And so obviously that converts a color image to a grayscale image with each of these gray colors being appropriate for what the tone of the image was in the original color. Let me just undo that. You'll see that these are the darker areas and when we convert them to grayscale, they're going to be the darker grays. The other option is this Adjust Color Balance option. Again, I've got all the artwork selected, so I'm going to turn on Preview, and I'm able to do things like increase the amount of cyan in the image or reduce it, and as I reduce it, you'll see the colors are changing because cyan is being removed from them. I'm using color mode CMYK, that's why we're looking at cyan, magenta, and yellow. The opposites, of course, are red, and green and blue. So here I can add blue by decreasing the yellow, or I can add yellow and that's killing the blue, but adding yellow. With magenta, we've got green and magenta at either ends of this line. Of course, with cyan, we've got red and cyan. You can also increase or decrease the intensity of the black. These settings can be applied just to the fill or just to the stroke or to both. So I'm going to cancel out of here again. There are some other options that we can access and they're on the Recolor Artwork dialog accessible through this icon here. It's also in Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. So let's just grab one of these. Now this feature that we've come looking for is a little bit difficult to find here because there's nothing here that suggests saturation. It's actually accessible here from this little icon that has like three lines on it. And you'll go down to Global Adjust. And here we have saturation brightness, temperature and luminosity. Now temperature is blue yellow. So we can add blue and we can add yellow. So we're warming the image up or we're cooling it down here. So we're just taking all the colors to a different place in terms of temperature. Brightness is just that we can brighten it or we can make it a lot darker. Saturation, increase the saturation of the colors, make your eyeballs bleed or reduce the saturation and the colors tend towards grayscale but not quite there, for example. And the last one is luminosity. Again, that's going to lighten and darken the image. 
So these are essentially the only adjustments that you've got in Illustrator for adjusting things like saturation and temperature and brightness. It's nowhere near as powerful as the tools that you have in Photoshop, but there are some options here that you can make use of. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. And until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.